What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to take a look at some of the exotics that come with the Taken King. Now over the past few days we have seen more and more new info regarding the Taken King DLC from the Game Informer Destiny Taken King Special. I will be covering all aspects of this new info to come so stay tuned for that. But the first thing I want to cover is the new exotics that come with the Taken King and thanks to Game Informer and their cover of the Taken King DLC we get to see a few of these new exotics now the first one I'd like to show you guys is this one right here the sleeper simulant this thing looks absolutely incredible and believe it or not this is a heavy weapon fusion rifle that is right you equip this thing as a heavy weapon it charges an over penetration laser that also bounces off walls I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait to see this thing in action. I really can't. The next exotic I want to show you guys is this one right here. Now we all know of the Stranger's Rifle, the weapon you get for completing the original story. Yes, you know it. Well, this is not that. This is basically a high level version of that Stranger's Rifle. It looks identical except for the iron sights you can see on this weapon. On the Stranger's Rifle, you get a hologram of the iron sights when you aim down sight. Also, you may notice this thing deals art damage. It's called the No Time to Explain. Now, another thing I'd like to mention about these exotics, exotics come with an intrinsic perk upon acquisition, a defining perk that sets them apart, basically like the Helm of St. 14's blinding perk. The defining perk under No Time to Explain is this, nailing precision hits, refuels bullets directly into the magazine. It's going to be fascinating to see what other exotic weapons offer. Now the next one we will check out is the Jade Rabbit Scout Rifle. Now we all know about this but we ain't seen any footage of it until now. Now due to copyright reasons I won't be actually showing the little footage we saw of this actual thing. But I will link the 1 minute plus of footage we saw from the Game Informer video in the video description so you guys can check that out. You also see a few moments of the No Time to Explain and a couple of other exotics covered in this video. Now this Jade Rabbit Scout Rifle belongs to the Dato Foundry and is a PlayStation exclusive. The next exotic we get to see is the 347 Vesta Dynasty. Yes, I am as shocked as you. This weapon will finally be here when the Taken King drops. Now from the Game Informer video, we saw a few instances of this weapon. What most intrigues me about it is the screen sort of thing on the back. At first I thought it was just to showcase the ammo in its clip, but in every instance of the trailer I can't see it showcasing any digits. All I can see is what looks to be sort of like a dot on a radar screen, which leads me to believe that this is what it may indeed be. If visible when aiming down sights this will come in very useful, but we will just have to wait and see if this is indeed the case and this is a radar on the back of this weapon. Now for these exotics and the many more new ones as mentioned by Game Informer they saw reference to over 12 new exotic weapons as well as 6 new exotic armors for each the Hunter, Warlock and Titan. Stay tuned until the end as I think I may have found a couple of exotic armors. So these exotics how are they acquired? Well I'm quoting Game Informer here as for new exotics Many of them are now tied to involve quest lines that echo and enhance the established idea of exotic bounties. For instance, I'm told of one exotic weapon that is gained in part through extensive exploration of Oryx's fortress like Dreadnought. Hidden pieces are scattered across the ship, each with a piece of story that helps to flesh out the lore of the ultra powerful weapon. To get a better sense of the new focus on exotics and their acquisition, Bungie provided us an in-depth look at one of the new weapons, the Sleeper Simulant. Our conversation illustrated just how much work goes into one of these weapons. The imposing armament is a fusion rifle that sits in the heavy slot. For this weapon, a dedicated quest line of multiple missions must be completed in order to get the Sleeper Simulant. The story of the weapon sees players tracking down ancient relics, from humanity's golden age and returning them to Banshee. These trigger a memory in the old gunsmith that opens up an odyssey to repair and reactivate the long forgotten weapon. Along the way some puzzles may be hard for any one individual to figure out on their own. Even the initial acquisition comes from a clue 
you find hidden in the Destiny universe. So for basically the many exotics that come with the Taken King, completing stages of a quest just like an exotic bounty will be required. I personally like the idea of completing quests for weapons as it will fuel way more of the reward once completed. Now if any new info is dropped about any new exotic weapons you'll find all the new info here on my channel. Now on to exotic armors, like I stated earlier Game Informer stated at least 6 exotics for each class. Now the following image is also taken from the Game Informer Taking King video. We see a quick instance of a crucible match. On the initial startup of the game, we see the team surrounding the flag. Check out the hunter who is holding the flag and the titan on the far right gauntlets. Although nothing has been confirmed on these two gauntlet armors, they do look very exotic in design. So could these be the first exotic armors we see from the Taken King? Who knows, only time will tell. But guys, that is it exotic wise. Stay tuned for much more info as it comes. Let me know your thoughts on what we have seen so far today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by as always. And peace out until next time. Peace. Get it right Left in the dark